YouTube. Thanks for coming back. Listen up. It's me, Eric, the Enavi. Check me out right here if you need. Please hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks so much for tuning in this week. If you're just tuning in, I am getting ready for the October 24th San Diego Rock and Roll Half Marathon that's going to be amazing. So if you are signed up for the very first time and you saw my video and you're just clicking on, thanks so much. Now for starters this week, I am on the fourth week that I would say uh, of the base plan training. Monday, rest days. Tuesday was just a steady, smooth, three miles. Wednesday, I had a run scheduled, which would have been another three miler, but I just couldn't get out in time. Thursday, I went out and that was actually something I hadn't done in years, which was hill repeats. It took a lot out of me and that actually led me to not being able to run the next day on Friday. Saturday morning though, woke up and <laughs> Hal Hagdon had a good surprise for me there. Fart neck run. Sounds weird. I'll explain it more in the video as we go through it, but yeah, basically it's a, it's a speed play. And then it takes me to the peak of the week, of course. That was a big one for me. Seven, seven miles. It was actually a brand new journey for me. I'd never run that direction in Mission Bay Park. I'd always run around the edges and towards sea, sea, uh, sea World. But in this case, I decided I, I need to see more. I want to experience more. I want to film more, more than anything. So being able to run and capture what I was seeing out there, the people, the vibe, that's just that beautiful imagery. I was really glad I, I decided to flip my, my trail and go that way. Adjusting with like a real-time app like Run With How, it's been pretty pretty cool because you can see the stats as you're going through. Like I said, I'm gonna show you some of these little cool graphics while I'm doing it. But it shows you where you're at, shows you the base you're building, the scores. Uh, so like you can be a score, are you over training? Are you under training? Uh, I'm really enjoying it. This is different for me. I'm really glad with it. So so everyone was asking, are you making these runs up yourself? No, of course it's the run with Hal app. So I've been very excited to use that. Two, what are you doing besides running? Are you doing any other type of cross training? And yes, I do. I actually have uh, a pro form spin bike, an indoor spin bike that I bought from, <laughs> of all places, I bought it from Walmart. Um, Am I doing any supplements? Am I eating anything different? Am I am I at that point yet where I've changed my actual nutrition? I do take protein. Um, after I've had the really good hard workouts, I can fill it all across that I'll, I'll have a chocolate protein shake. And I'll show you a picture of one of these guys right here. Intermittent fasting was the thing that most people were doing because it became known. Turns out growing up my life just being poor for some reason, <laughs> I just was already intermittent fasting. I just, I would wake up in the morning, I'd be jumping on calls, I'd be getting in my car, I'd be headed to work, you know, and uh, the next thing I knew, I'd look at the clock, it was already past 11.30, almost 12, and I was just going straight towards, well, it's time to eat something now. You know, you get right back into work, you do what you do, you eat when you can. I would get home and of course, the kitchen's closed, there's nothing else that we're gonna eat, so usually I was cutting off my food anyway, right around 8.30 to 9 o'clock. It was it, it was, there was nothing left. If you're hungry, you're hungry, you better make something. So. Uh, it turns out me having that old natural plan when I looked into what intermittent fasting was doing, I just kind of laughed. I said, these guys are literally doing <laughs> what I do every day because I'm just so busy with work. Fuck. And that still counts for the dates that I run. So I know that's not the same for a lot of people because they wake up, they're going to have coffee, they're going to have a big meal, and then they're ready to go run. That's just not in my natural cycle. If I were to try and do that, I'd probably completely throw myself off rhythm, you're gonna get a different message from other people, but you're also talking about different levels of training. You're gonna have some people who are beginners and they're gonna find their body's rhythm. They're gonna find that helps them get that energy, get out and go. If that's working for you, by all means, stick to it, okay? You're gonna have some people training on a, on a really high elite level. And I'm talking nutrition plans that are to the calorie, to the nutrition level of what they're eating. Maybe vegan meals, some people paleo meals. Um, I, I don't have that type of level of commitment that I can get to. Not realistically with, you know, with two kids to raise, with a job to do, and you know, having a budget, I, I just can't commit to something that way. Usually after my runs, I'm gonna eat something that's gonna be very simple, but still be wholesome. So like eggs with spinach mixed into it, like an omelet or scramble. That's fuel. That's what food is, it's just fuel. What's gonna help me keep going? What's gonna give me good nutrients? And that's all I kind of need. For everyone who's out there and you are starting your journey, we've got till October 25th if you're going to be running San Diego Rock and Roll. Hopefully I am going to keep you to hit that like, hit that subscribe button so you can keep following along with me, and I'm hoping to keep you entertained. Thanks so much. Stay tuned. There's Tuesday. Three mile run, 27 minutes. Got the pace into a nine minutes per mile. Right what I needed to do.
So that's a uh, mile and a half warm up. Actually, that was two miles warm up. So that's three of my 400s up this hill. Oh my God. This is the type of workout that makes you separate from It's a word that's called speed play. So uh, I'll be able to do 30, 30 minutes straight of running. However, it's not at a set, done tempo. Um, there will be maybe off shots of, of sprints of 45 seconds to a minute. Um, you kind of play with the, the amount of time that you're allotted so that your body learns to kind of keep readjusting and keep finding that hard pace to, to balance back out. First five minutes, I'm hoping I'm not going to the first. Let's keep it right here. Just finished 10 minutes. for my first 10 minutes. Now, we gotta pick it up. That's 20 minutes now. I'm gonna back the pace off. It's about 9.30. So it's Sunday. I'm glad to have everyone still tuning in. Uh, this should be week four. It's a long run. Today will be seven miles. Um, I had a little bit of difficulty trying to figure out where I was going to stretch this out because the heat will change over in a bit. Amazing run. I can't believe I've never done this run before. Just a beautiful sight. All the right bikes running, kids playing. Uh, the view is absolutely amazing. That marine layer is coming in from behind us. Uh, great run. Halfway done. 3.5. Let's finish the seven mile.
beautiful runs I've probably done out through here. So I was really glad I, I took a chance on a whole new trail today. Really good run. It's been a really good week of running. I'm glad I took that one extra day off. So with that, that's the end of this week. Uh, this was a seven mile run. Uh, the Hal Higdon app will give me a whole new base of what I'm going to be doing. I've got 12 weeks to go until the Rock and Roll Half Marathon. So if you're following along, I can't wait to show you what the rest of this journey is going to be. I can't wait to show you guys more. Thanks for joining in. Please hit the like button. Hit that subscribe. Follow Inavi here on YouTube. Have a great day.